Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. J. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I am here. Hi. Um, welcome to another version of Sideways Math. I might just start calling <laughs> our math that. I think there's a book. Isn't there a book called Sideways, like Sideways School or Sideways something? I might have, sorry, I'm just adjusting that a little bit. Um, I might have to see if I can find that, but we're going to call this sideways math. So, thank you for joining me today. Um, this week, our fractions lessons in math have to do with equivalent fractions. And we've talked a lot about the word equivalent in that it means equal. And in fractions, we talk about them being equal when you have the same size shape of something and two fractions take up the same amount of space or multiple fractions can take up the same amount of space as a certain other fraction that has the same amount of space. I think you're hearing me say a lot of the word same, right? We're going to be talking about that today. So one of the things that you're definitely going to need or have to have access to is this equivalent fraction strip sheet. And this goes all the way from one hole at the top. And if I slide it up, you can see all the way to one twelfths at the bottom. Now, I don't know why there's a weird line here through the twelfths. Um, I just printed this off my printer. I'm not sure why there's a line there. It doesn't really mean anything. You may or may not have a line through yours. Um, but this shows you if you start with a hole and you divide shapes up into different denominators. We have halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, eighths, tenths, and twelfths. You can see we've talked about all along with fractions that the larger the number in the denominator, the smaller the size the pieces get. And I think you can see that the more pieces we add, the smaller they get. But that denominator goes up because it has to tell us the total number of pieces in that whole object. So you're going to need this fraction strips sheet worksheet or at least have access to it so you can see it. Um, this video also has to do with these worksheets. So there's worksheets that are 5-7 that are reteach and practice, and fraction worksheets that are reteach eight and practice. Um, no, reteach and practice, sorry, misspoke there. So I'm going to go through both sets of worksheets in this video. Now you can either do two of them or watch the video or watch the video and then do half of them or do all of them. However you wanna break up and stop the video and do your math work on your own at your own pace is perfectly okay. So. You can either try them on your own or watch the videos. Um, if you need to do it with me to help understand a little bit better, at least at the beginning, that's totally okay too. All right, so the first paper that I'm going to start with is 5-7 Reteach. And actually, for this worksheet, they gave us a little baby fraction strip at the top that we're going to use because the questions on this worksheet only have to do with halves, fourths, and eighths. So we can actually use a fraction strip that's right there at the top of this paper, okay? So the first question, we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions, and they have different denominators. So we're going to read and see what they want us to do here, okay? Compare the eighths strip and the halves strip. How many eighths are in one half? Now, I have an extra little piece of paper here, and this might help you. Um, it's just a piece of green construction paper that I grabbed. Um, you know, I've got a pile of paper on my floor. You can either take a straight edge, you can take a ruler, you can take the edge of a book. Um, you could simply use the edge of your pencil or paper. But as we get into different fractions, and they're in different locations on the fraction strip paper, or when we jump to fractions on a number line. Um, it's nice to have a straight edge to help you line up the different amounts. So that's just a friendly teacher tip there. You might want a little straight edge. So we're going to um, find out how many eighths are in one half. So if I look, and I'm going to use this paper to block off a chunk of space for, 
Oops, my marker just, this is a very juicy marker. I'm gonna change, hang on, sorry. My marker's leaking everywhere. Well, I guess it's better than having a dried up marker. Um, how many eighths are in one half? One, two, three, four. If I look at this whole space of a half, I wanna see how many eighths take up the same amount of space as a one half. One, two, three, four. And you can see on the paper, they made a fancy four, but you already have four. So complete these two equations. So this is partially in word form and then it goes to standard form. So there are four eighths and one half and I would write my fraction as four eighths equals one half. So the next fraction, it says compare the eighths strip to the fourths strip. How many eighths are in one fourth? So what I wanna do is I wanna block off my paper and I wanna find one fourth and now I'm going to use this like a little answer key. How many eighths are in one fourth? Two, there's two eighths in the same space that it takes up to make one fourth. So I have two eighths equals one fourth, but now I'm gonna do that in number form. So two eighths equals one fourth. Okay, now they want us to compare the eighths strip and the fourths strip. How many eighths are in three fourths. So this one's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go up to my paper and I'm going to mark off so that I can see one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and I'm going to count how many eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six eighths takes up the same amount of space and a same size object as three fourths. Oops, I forgot to write two. I'm gonna write six there. So six eighths equals three fourths. Six eighths equals three fourths. Okay, so this worksheet, five seven, use this little baby section of a fraction strip worksheet here to help you answer these questions. Now, five eight reteach is very similar um, but this time, they didn't give us a fraction strip paper, so we can either use the little baby one, or if you've got this one handy, we're gonna be jumping back and forth and using both of these to help us find our answers. So let's see how we do with this. So, how many eighths, it looks like our first two fractions are gonna have to do with eighths. How many eighths are in one half? How many eighths are in one half? So, I'm going to go to my fraction strip. I'm going to mark off so that I can see one half. And I need to know how many eighths take up, sorry, I kicked the table. How many eighths take up the same amount of space as one half? Well, if I look down to my eighths, one, two, three, four. So four eighths takes up the same amount of space and a same size object as one half. So four eighths equals one half. So I'm gonna go back. So how many eighths? Four. Four eighths equals one half. So I'm gonna put four. Four eighths equals one half. All right, how many eighths are in two fourths? two fourths, hmm. So I'm gonna find my fourths and I'm going to count out two fourths. How many eighths? One, two, three, four. Hmm, same thing. So four eighths is also equal to two fourths. So four eighths is equal to two fourths. Four eighths is also equal to one half. Interesting. All right, now we're gonna jump to six. We're gonna do two problems with sixths. How many sixths are in one 
third. How many sixths are in one third? So let's find one third. And let's look down, whoops, to our sixths. How many sixths take up the same amount of space as one third? Two. Two sixths. Two sixths equals one third. So two, two sixths equals one third. And then I'm going to write that in fraction form. Two sixths equals one third. Now they want to know how many sixths are equal to one half. Okay, so let me find my half. How many sixths are equal to one half? So I'm going to go down to my sixths and I'm going to count one, two, three. So three sixths takes up the same amount of space as one half. So three sixths equals one half. Three, three, three sixths is equal to one half. Hmm. Now I'm going to do one here for eighths. How many eighths are in one fourth? So I'm going to go back to my fraction strip paper. I'm going to find one fourth. How many eighths are equal to one fourth? It looks like two. Two eighths equals one fourth. So two eighths, two eighths equals one fourth. All right, so that's a little bit of a practice on how you find fractions using the fraction strips on a paper that looks like this. Now at the bottom, it says find three other pairs of equivalent fractions. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this and then when you have a chance and you have an opportunity, you can do this by yourself, okay? Very simply, all you have to do is wherever you can find your paper and line it up. So if I wanted to find fractions that were one half, let me slide that up a little bit, okay? You would have to find fractions, and you might have to slide it just a little bit to the right because see how my one half here has an end where my fraction bar has a space? See how some of these have lines and some of them don't? The thirds does not, okay? So no fraction with thirds here matches up the same amount of space as one half because it's more than one third, but it's less than two thirds. So we couldn't use one half. So we could say one half is equal to two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths, or six twelfths. So all of those fractions that take up the same amount of space as one half, you could list any of those. Let's see if we have a fraction that's equal to one-third. Oh, I see a couple. If I slide my paper just a little bit to the right, I can see the end of my paper here at one-third. If I come down, oh, here's another matching line. Two-sixths is the same thing as one-third. And if I go down a little farther, it looks like four twelfths takes up the same amount of space and is the same size as one third. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna slide your paper a little to the right, a little to the left. Um, we could do this one here like this, like if we did three fourths. All right, I can see I have three fourths and here's my ending line, so I've gotta come down Three fourths, oops, eighths. Oh my goodness, they keep touching everything and moving it. One, two, three, four, five, six eighths matches three fourths. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine twelfths matches three fourths. So you'll have to use your sliding paper as a 
scale and what you'll want to do is you'll want to look for the little breaks in the fraction bars. Now see none of these match up here. So none of these would be equivalent. That one would be equivalent to that. Um, so you have to kind of use a really good eagle eye to find where the lines match up. That's why it's kind of nice to have a piece of paper and you can slide it back and forth as you need to to make sure that your answers are exact. Now, the next two papers that we have, so worksheets five, seven had to do with fraction strips using fraction bars. Worksheets five, eight have to do with using fractions on a number line, okay? Um, and my video is getting a little bit too long, so I'm going to stop here and I'm going to do a second video for the worksheets for 5-8. So if you had an opportunity, either you watched this or you did this with me for 5-7, maybe if you're confident, you could go ahead and you could try 5-8. This is fractions on a number line and make sure you use your fraction strip bar here to help you come up with fractions on a number line. Because on 5-8 here, you're going to have to be making your own. So I'm gonna do that in the next video and you'll have the answers. But if you feel confident and you wanna go ahead and try, or even, even do a couple to see if you can come up with the right answers, and then you can always check yours with mine if you want to. Okay, so keep your fraction strips bar model handy because you'll need that for 5-7 and your worksheets for 5-8 fractions on a number line.